Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, Episode 18. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, here with the Nisco. Yes! Guess what we're doing today? Uh, I'm thinking we're going to have to do something about the Chaos Emeralds, because Eggman just uh, partially blew up the moon. Um... Actually, no. What? Let's not worry about that for now. Uh, we're just going to skip it. Yeah. Hi, Doctor. How's it going? What? What do you mean they escaped? They escaped? Oh, no. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'll go after them myself. That's a d bit of an emotional flip. Space colony control? <laughs> Tricky metal. Rouge has ulterior motives! Oh my god. Now, is it gonna be like Sonic X where all she wants is like jewels and money and a lot of other stuff? Sonic X was shit. Look, it's still technically canon. Yeah, because they had to steal what they had from the Sonic games. <laughs> exactly. I think the four kids version really colored my perception of it. It's bad. And the artwork is not that great. The ultimate life form. You know, I'm glad we finally got to the shitting on Sonic part of your Sonic Let's Plays. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there's plenty of, of <laughs> shit for Sonic. There's, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of it. I'm just saying that I'd like to keep some parts of the shit out of some of the better parts of it, alright, you know? Okay, okay. Keep it pure. Shovel out some of the shit from Sonic Adventure 2 and put it onto Sonic Heroes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sonic Heroes! Yeah. So now we're in Rouge's final stage, Mad Space. One well, of the first times on which that's actually helpful. Detector oh. readings are reversed. What does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and read one here. Oh! <laughs> huh. Oh, I, I didn't catch that. Tired, yeah, pause. tired light. Tired light. For Thiggle Darrett! Is that going to be your title? Or do you have a better one? I don't know. Thiggle Darrett's pretty good. <laughs> I'm like a Thiggle Darrett. Oh god, this... This place is huge! Thiggle Darrett sounds like a Mass Effect character. <laughs> a flat place. Oh, now, Thiggle that Darrett. means... A not flat place. Oh, so whatever they say, too, is opposite. It's still at a, at a tired light. That's right, but... It is not in a flat place. Ah, so, like what, so like when it says a high place, you think, oh, I'll just go up high. You're never gonna find it. You're never even gonna lock onto it. Okay, I understand now. This first run through really sucks because you're really limited as to what you can do. Because a lot of these rockets that take you to other points of the stage are locked behind iron crates that cannot be opened without the iron boots, which can be found on this planet. Oh, okay. As well as our first several, so that works out. Oh, sweet. You're locking onto it too. Let's see. Hmm. Are, are we sure it's not backwards and you're not locking onto it? <laughs> that would be shit. <laughs> just, oh, cool, I'm close to an emerald that's actually in a different galaxy. Oh, man. Well, if that was the case, it would be constantly be shining red, wouldn't it? Oh, true. Thanks, Thiggle Darrett. What can you tell me about the Reapers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rouge the Bat. This is my favorite stage in the Citadel. <laughs> I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mass Effect is great. <laughs> but what's not great is a stage because this is this, this is before Super Mario Galaxy, before the whole gravity thing was really perfected in platformer oh, games. And no. so a lot of these planets have gravity that you're stuck in pretty much. As far mm. as though there's only two you can be really stuck on. It's oh. it's uh. Oh. It's uh, this planet and that big round cylinder at the top. All right, messy star, Sto messy storage. Okay. Oh, I I could barely read that. It took me a second. Yeah, you, you gotta be you gotta be ready for it. Changing things around, switching all the text. God, what does this game think of next? This is the second thing that has gravity. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, but no. It's not as strong as the round planet, though. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. And unlike Knuckles' stage, which had a floor, uh, 
This does not. Oh, this has death? This has death. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, very death. No. Ah, death. Oh, God. Ah, 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 oh, save ah, it. Ah, save it. Tease ah, it. Yes. Okay. Uh, dead. okay. <laughs> oh, so, uh, well. <laughs> well, I. Uh, oh, she's going into the atmosphere. <laughs> All right. So let's try that again. She's a burning let's, bat. Starting from the beginning. We got zero lives. We, got, we still got the iron boots. We're going to do this real and right. Right and real. Wait, I thought it saved your emerald pieces. Or, or does it not? I restarted from the beginning. Oh, okay, okay. Cause fuck you! Okay, fine. Uh. Alright, let's look at the first quote here. Yeah. He's so original. <laughs> that went too fast, even I couldn't see it, but who cares? God, how many places are we gonna insult today? Like, you know some of these backwards naming things are actual words in a different language. If so, I don't think they'll make any sense. Oh, hey, got our first several. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And it's... you basically landed on top of it. That's best case scenario. Somewhere right here. So... Oh, Digging oh. her. Maybe it's in a... Aha! Ah! Awesome. All right, next. Okay, explain to me, Sonic Enthusiast. The hell is that green thing? What green thing? That that thing, the thing with gravity. Oh, Jesus. The gravity uh, the, meteorite. The gravity meteorite. Floating. Flat. Oh. Jello. Plament of. What? Post text. Thank you. God, that was a mouthful. And not only that, but the way it was written was backwards, too. Mm, two oh lines, good. two going in different directions. It's weird, man. Fucked up. Oh, God. So this isn't a mirror of Knuckle Stage, is it? It's a more difficult version of it. Same kind of location, different kind of gimmick, though. See, here's the storage containers. Yeah, that's, that's why I brought it up, because it, a lot of this looks familiar from Knuckle Stage. It just, it just isn't. But there's also not motherfucking meteors flying everywhere. Holy shit, I thought you did that on accident. <laughs> nope. I was hoping I could get a lock. Uh, and I thought you were actually locked in that too, so I could just imagine you <laughs> recording this and going, Fuck! Fuck! No, fuck, no, fuck. no, 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 no! <laughs> no, please, no! Yeah. God, this place is huge. I'm pretty sure it's smaller than Knuckles' section, though. But it's way more difficult to maneuver around, though. Because the whole no floor thing, you see. I mean, I wouldn't want to do this. You just went back. Right the biggest meteorite. Which means, boys and girls, we need to go to... The smallest meteorite. Exactly, you dumb Yay! shits. I did it. Now here's the next question for you advanced users. Hmm. What's the- where is the smallest meteorite? Mm. Can I call a helpline? Lifeline? Whatever um, it is. No, you may not. Shoot, I really need to think of this. Um, it's, it's not on the glowing square stone which is floating, which means, which means it is. That's the one where it just gives you the answer. But, ah, fuck, I'm locked in gravity. <laughs> So after a few moments, they say, okay, you know what? It might be too difficult with the backwards text. Let's just give it to them. Luckily, we're going to be checking out uh, Shithy and Dejime today, though. Oh, good. Check in on those guys. I've been here like three times already. I know. Oh, Lord. Smallest meteorite, where are you? Is that it? Ah, maybe it was! <laughs> that was a dirty trick if it was. Oh wait, wait, wait. The these also apparently count. Well, yeah. What? That this is the smallest meteorite. Oh, and it's on a platform on the smallest meteorite. Yeah. yeah. Uh. At, fir at first I thought, wait, that's not a fu ah fuck. No, oh, I'll try it again. Oh my god. Raccoon there if you want to. Yes, thank you, Omo Chow. Hey, did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Oh, the did text you... is reversed! 
Did you know that I'm trying to jump here? Swat him away like a fly. <laughs> They, in this new Sonic game, if they make Omochao, they have to make it so I can still kick him. <laughs> We'd like to announce for Sonic's 25th birthday, Sonic Adventure 3! Oh my god, finally! I'm just wondering, do you think it'd be worth it at this point? Sure. I mean, it probably won't have the same flair, but it'll at least have the name Sonic Adventure 3. Would you be still be okay with that? I'd still be okay with that, uh, but I know for a fact that there will never be a 4, good or bad. Because <laughs> uh, every time Sega counts to 4, it turns out really bad. <laughs> oh, Yakuza 4 was pretty good. And episode 1 of Sonic Adventure 4 was, or Sonic the Hedgehog 4, it's pretty good. Yeah. No, I liked it. It's old fashioned, I like. Rush was a better game. Oh, God, no! Yeah, you're right on that. So, the, where the fuck is this emerald? Like, I'm literally on top of it, but it's just. And now I've dropped a level, so I can't really get up, you know, pretty easy. And I don't know why I read that hint, because I know where it is now. Wait, what? It's, it's over by the storage containers, but I can't. Oh, wait. Let me think. I can't get up enough to get there. I gotta, like, do all do all this smoke and mirrors to get back over there. And even uh, then, I'm still not high enough! Oh, ah! uh, man. Wait, wait, let me think. So, is it all the way up here? No, it's by those containers. But where? You were all over those. I know, but it's in a shitty fucking place. It's the worst place to put them. I'm just gonna see if I can find it before the footage does. Let's see. Mm. Come on, on them. Here they are. Yeah, uh, is it in between them? On the side of the wall? Not just on them. Like, literally in between! Oh! <laughs> you bastard! So I gotta make a fucking ridiculous jump. <laughs> ah! The crates didn't have gravity. Why? Well, now I know why it's called Mad Space. Yeah. It's pissing me off! I'm ashamed to call myself Oh, that was horrid. It was. So glad you're doing this. Aww. Hey guys, that's 30. That's like 150 left. Hey, hmm. let's take some time and chill in the chow world. I don't even know if I want to do this anymore, man. <laughs> I mean... Nah, do it, you'll be fine. I, mm, I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Just do them like my bonuses, which take forever to finish. I actually replay. I, I still haven't done any uh, Star Fox Adventures bonuses in a while. Aww. I, I, I gotta do this, though. I gotta do this. I must do what is right, what the people want me to do. And that go, is. Go, go, go. And that go, is. Go, go, go. And that go, is. Go, the waterboard go. the fucker! And so he was never heard from again. Until we start playing hero characters, and then we're gonna hear from him again. And then it's back to the beaten pile for you, Shithy! <laughs> well, I think you beat him into, like, a punk rock kid. Like, he just didn't <laughs> want to do anything. He's too cool for school. He's too cool for kindness. Oh, yeah! The Knuckles fight! This is literally verbatim the same thing. Talking to you is a waste of time. Except, you know, we're except we're fighting Knuckles. He's not that much different from Rouge, really. Those master emeralds. Give them to me. So remember how difficult it was with Rouge? Mmm, a little bit. Let's see if Knuckles puts up the same fight. Okay, what do you got, Nux? Well, I already traded a blow with him. All right. Well, All it's. Right. I mean, I can't wait till you cross swords. Oh god, this part. I completely forgot about this part, I'll be totally honest. Yeah, he's, now he's pushed all the way to the edge, so now he's easy to find. I have no... Now witness my... I have no idea where you are. So... Well... Oh, uh, and straight into the fire! Alright, Knuckles is dead! One of the most annoying characters gone! That's like the best I've ever did that fight. Usually it takes me like at least a minute and a half, two minutes, but 36 Dude. seconds, that's unfucking real yo. 
Why does Rouge's ears have jiggle physics? Well, do you want to give just her boobs a jiggle physics? I don't want to give anything to a bat girl. Like, a literal bat girl. <laughs> Talk about audio overlap. <laughs> Well, that was intentional that time. What kind of lady goes around stealing gems anyway? All of them! Oh, sorry. No. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> oh no, I can fly oh. with my wings. Oh no, oh no. And yet he falls for it anyway. Fool! Pulls him down with him. <laughs> Knucklehead. No, I could just imagine Knuckles as the kind of dirty, rotten bastard that hangs on, holding on, and just say, <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Let's go. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> this is wonder if uh, my audience will even get that. I was saving them after Emerald. I don't know. I hear enough people saying it at work to justify <laughs> that it's still somewhat relevant. Straight out of Compton came out last year, and they used it in that. So, no, maybe that's what it was from. But you got to give it some more, like, some more attitude. It's just like, um, bye, Felicia. Giving me them in the first place. Okay. So remember how big the Master Emerald is. I just want you to keep that in your mind. How huge this Master Emerald is. Okay. It's big. It like goes up to Knuckles' neck. It's that. It's that big. <laughs> and you see. You see it in Sonic Adventure One too, right? It's gone. Well, it's not gone. Just, just remember that size. That's, that's all I gotta do. Remember that size. Okay. Rem remember that size because we'll see you next time. Let's play Sonic Adventure. The Deuce. Oh, you're so clever.